Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario based on trigger and test class. Let's understand the scenario first. So scenario says when an account is inserted or updated and the copy billing to shipping checkbox is checked, then copy billing address to shipping address. So actually, this insert pass part of this requirement I already demonstrated with one with one of the video. So what we are going to do, we will be understanding like how that insert method can be utilized or reused for update operation as well. So I'm going to modify that so that this requirement can be accomplished for both insert and update operation. So we need account trigger, then trigger handler class and then uh, test class as well. So I'm jumping to developer console. So here you can see account trigger is already there. And here is the method that I'm uh, calling for insert, before insert, copy billing to shipping. So I'm just copying it and I'm pasting it in before update section. So whenever we update any record, so we have two entities available. One is trigger.new, which is having new state of the record. And another is trigger.old map which will be having old state of the record. So the same updated record will be having, will be available in this trigger.new and this trigger.old map. So later on we can compare like if particular field is changed, then only we want to run that particular code. Now, if you are using, reusing the same method. So here we are passing two parameters. So at least two parameters we need to pass from insert as well. So here second parameter we can pass as null because in case of insert, we don't have any trigger dot old map, right? Accordingly, we need to modify the code here in the trigger handler. So here, first of all, I'm writing map of ID comma count old map. So this ACC list will be receiving trigger dot new values. And old map will be receiving the old map value in case of update. And in case of insert, it will be null. Because from here, we are passing null. So this also will be deciding whether this code uh, will be executing for insert operation or for update operation. Okay, so what we need to do, first we need to uh, do insert thing. So I'm just modifying this code and adding this piece. So here you can see, this is insert part now. Like if old map is null, it means insert is happening. And if copy billing to shipping is true on insert, then we just need to copy all the billing information into shipping information. Then for update, we can have this or part and then First of all, we need to check whether this copy billing to shipping is true or not. If it is true, then we can apply and. So what I need to do, ACC dot copy billing to shipping not equals to old map dot get ACC dot ID dot this field copy billing to shipping okay so this acc dot copy billing to shipping it is having the new value of that field and old map will give the old value of that field if both are not matching it means that field is updated and if it is true so let me just have a bracket here as well and here as well okay so this whole part is for update so first we are checking whether this copy billing to shipping is true. If it is true, then we are checking whether it became true from false or not. If yes, then only it will work, right? And the rest of the code will be same. Like we are just copying all the billing information to shipping information, right? So this is complete. Now I am just saving this code so that I can demonstrate it from the UI. I'm saving the trigger part as well.
now jumping to the ui and uh, i am first going to create new account and i am checking this checkbox copy billing to shipping and here i am going to fill the information So shipping part is blank, billing is filled and this checkbox is checked and we are inserting the record. So record is being created. If I go to details, so here you can see information is copied. Now I am going to open any existing record where This copy billing to shipping is unchecked and billing information is not available. So I'm just populating it. And I'm checking this checkbox as well. Copy billing to shipping, right? So this field is getting updated. So that trigger will work, condition will work and it will copy all the billing information to shipping. So I'm just saving it. And here you can see information is copied automatically. So in both the cases, code is working fine. Now, after this, we need to implement the test class. So test class is already available here. And uh, here you can see, I have this uh, copy billing to shipping test method where account, is, account list is available. Then five account records are created. They are having billing information and this copy billing to shipping is true. So what I'm going to do, I'm just marking it for insert operation. So for insert, like we first created the data, then we inserted the data, and then we queried the updated record and checking the shipping information. If it is matching with test city, it means uh, your shipping information is updated, right? So this is for insert operation. Now, I'm just copying and pasting it so that it will work for update. So, so in real time projects also, you can apply this concept. Like if your one method is doing both the operation insert as well as update. So you can have two separate methods so that you can verify uh, whether insert and update both are working fine separately or not. So I'm just cutting it from here. So in this case, what is happening? We created a list, then five account records are created having billing information but that checkbox is false. Then here inserting the data. After insert, I'm iterating a loop on this ACC list. And inside this loop, I'm just setting that checkbox as true. And then update ACC list. So on update of this account list, trigger will work and uh, billing information will be copied to shipping. Then through this query, I'm querying shipping information of the first account record that is available in ACC list. And that will be available in this updated ACC list. So through that, I'm just comparing it. If it works, this assert passes, it means your code is working fine. So I'm just clicking on run test. So here you can see this is the last one which executed and all the cases are passing. So copy billing to shipping insert test, copy billing to shipping update test, both are passing. So it means in both the ways code is working fine. So this is the way like you can implement a trigger and test class for the requirement that I demonstrated in this video.